Hey guys, this is your host Eric. Today we are going to watch horror genre movie called Final Destination 5. Spoilers ahead, turn on your subtitle, I greatly appreciate your support. Enjoy the video. Before Sam's trip, the company where he works plans to go on a retreat. Sam sees a sign on the bus stairs that says, watch your step, and he starts to feel strange. Isaac gets up to make a private phone call. As soon as they get on a bridge that is being built, Sam starts to feel tense. A worker stopped the bus all of a sudden, and Sam heard his thumb outside. Sam can feel the bus shaking as strong winds start to blow. He asks Peter if he has the same feeling, but Peter says no. Sam knows, though, that something is wrong. Later, a worker cuts a part of the bridge, and as he does, a crack starts there and goes all the way through the bridge. First, they sink a car in front of. When Sam sees this, he grabs his girlfriend Molly and gets off the bus. Other people do the same when the bridge starts to fall apart. Candace, Peter's girlfriend, first gets caught when she wanders off by accident. Then, instead of falling into the water, she falls onto a boat, sail pole and dies below. When Isaac comes back and sees what happened, it's too late. The bus lets him off, and his trip is over. Sam and the other people on the bridge make their way to the end while it's falling apart, but they get stuck when the bridge suddenly breaks in the middle. Now, the connecting rail that carries the concrete is the only way to get to the other end of the bridge. Sam asks Molly to go first so that the ladies can go first. But before Sam can use the rail himself, he hears Olivia calling for help because she dropped her glasses and can barely see, so he runs to bring her to the rail for the second time. First, the women, since Olivia is partially blind, she crawls and follows Molly's voice. She gets close to Molly, but she can't reach out and grab her hand. Soon enough, the rail gives way, and she falls into the water below. As Nathan and his boss, Dennis, tried to get to the end of the bridge quickly, a car fell from the bridge and hit her. Nathan was eliminated. All of a sudden, Sam sees that the bridge is starting to fall apart. He runs to the edge before people start to fall off. Dennis is about to fall off too, but he holds on tight to something. But hot asphalt falls on him and burns him before he can get away. Let's go. Peter in the back sees that the bridge is falling, so he runs to a bent railing at the end of the bridge, which is the only way up. Still, he waits until Sam does the same thing, and Sam jumps right before the bridge falls. The railing is too weak to hold two people, but it does so anyway, leaving them with a serious problem. As they work hard to reach the top, a few poles shot right at Peter and killed him. Sam sees this and starts to run to the top, but he doesn't make it and gets fired. When he wakes up, he realizes that it was all a dream and that he's still sitting there on the bus, but the bus stops the same way and hurts his thumb. The same chain of events that he saw in his trance starts to happen, and he realizes right away how serious it is. At the same time, he goes to get Molly while telling everyone on the bus to get off because the bridge will fall. Dennis tells him it's just construction. Later, Dennis asks Peter to find them in case something bad happens. Candace also does what he does and follows him. At the same time that the boss walks out, the bridge breaks, which causes a crack that goes all the way through the bridge. But only eight of the workers make it to the other end before the bridge falls into the river, taking the other 17 with it. Sam is taken in by the FBI and questioned about how he knew it would happen. He tells Agent Block how he knew it would happen. He only had a vision block. At first, he thought he was a terrorist, but he soon got a message that the collapse was caused by high winds and structural damage from the construction the next day. Before the funeral service for the 17 dead employees started, Sam's co-workers are worried about what's going on. They are sure that there must be a reason. Sam knew the bridge would fall, but they were able to fix it in the end. As Peter and Sam walk back to their house after the funeral, a stranger warns them not to mess with death and tells them to be careful. Peter just thinks he's creepy and leaves, but Sam stays because he knows the creepy man is more than he seems. Sam goes to Molly's house after his first shift at a restaurant. He tells her that when the bridge started to fall, all he could think about was getting her to safety. Peter runs into Candace at the gym, where she is about to start her last practice for the college gymnastics championship. She doesn't feel ready, but Peter gives her hope. The gym is hot, and an electrician comes to fix the fans, but leaves a broken cable on the floor by accident. Candace feels like something is wrong right before she starts practicing, but she keeps going anyway. Unknown to her, a screw falls from the ceiling fan onto the gymnastic beam. Then, during her second practice routine, she almost steps on the cable, which has water dripping on it from the ceiling. The water trickling near her foot would have killed her, but she drops a hand towel on it just in time. As she starts her second routine, I step on the towel instead. The screw that holds the bar in place is about to come loose, but it doesn't. Instead, Candace missed the same screw on the beams. After that, someone else would practice. She trips, making a story that then takes Candace's attention away. This makes her swing off the bar, hit the ground hard, break her spine, and later die. Sam feels bad for Peter at the gym, but when he gets back to work, he sees the creepy man again and doesn't understand why he's following them. 
Olivia thinks that the only reason Candace died was because of gymnastics. Also, most of Dennis's workers are dead, so he has more work than he can handle. The company will be shut down soon. Isaac, on the other hand, goes around to the desks of the dead staff and steals their things. He also takes a spa ticket, and later that day he goes to the spa. After being taken care of by a pretty woman and lying late on the bed, he is surprised to find that the therapy is being done by an old woman. While she puts his bones in place, one of the bed stands creaks, which they don't know about. Then, she gives him a light acupuncture and tells him to sleep for 30 minutes. When that time is up, she leaves the candlelit room. After Isaac turns off the lights, the candles start a fire for no reason, which wakes him up. When he tried to get out of bed, the bedside table gave way, and he fell flat on his face and passed out. At the same time, sterilizing fluid poured out onto the floor, but nothing happened until Isaac woke up and found the needles already in him. Then he tries to leave the room, but his phone rings and stops him. He thinks about answering the phone because it must be his girlfriend. But at the same time, a candle falls on the fluid, which causes it to explode, making him happy. When the fire doesn't get to Isaac, he realizes how lucky he is. But, unfortunately, a Buddhist statue falls right on his head and crushes it. Sam is trying to get Molly to go to Paris with him when Peter tells them that Isaac has died. He sees the strange man at the scene again and goes after him. This time, the rest come after him while he asks the man his name. It turns out that he is just a coroner who has seen situations where a few lucky people survive a disaster, but then die later. One by, he says that they cut death short by getting away from what happened on the bridge and now they can't get away from it. Eventually, he tells them that killing someone else is the only way out of their sad situation. At this point, they realize that death is all around them. But Sam realizes that he saved Molly and his vision, so it's likely that she won't die. Olivia and Dennis aren't there, so they make plans to tell them right away. In the meantime, Olivia goes to a clinic to get eye surgery. While she's under the equipment, she goes crazy. Her head is held firmly in place, and an unnoticed device is used to make her eyes bigger. The eye of her stuffed animal pops out and falls to the floor. The doctor will soon be going to get a file. In the meantime, a cup of water falls and spills into an electrical socket, which makes the equipment stop working. As soon as she realizes, she tries in vain to reach for the emergency. After she calls for help, the equipment gets to a dangerous point, and the laser shines in her eye, making her blind. Soon, Sam and Molly come in to save her, but as she gets up, she trips on the teddy bears she had dropped on the floor and falls out the window with her eye popping out. Sam finds out later that the recent deaths happened in the exact same order. In his dream, he saw. He finds out that Nathan is going to die at the company factory after Olivia. Nathan fights with a worker named Roy, and he has a feeling that something is up. He sees sparks and realizes that a crane hook might fall, so he tries to push Roy out of the way, but Roy falls and gets caught by the hook, which gets rid of him. In the meantime, Peter tells Dennis that he has to kill or be killed, but Dennis doesn't seem to believe him. Then, they talk about what happened at the factory, where Peter threatens Nathan into saying that he really did kill Roy to get his life back. Then, Peter tells Sam to tell him who's next, but before he can, Dennis comes to find out what happened, and at the same time, a wrench thrown by the belt sander breaks his. Later, Sam decides to stop living in fear. That night, he goes to work at the restaurant, but everything he sees makes him very scared. Then, his restaurant boss gives him the chance to work in Paris. Peter goes to see Molly and Sam on a date that night after work. He is upset. After they tell him he's next, Peter tells them about the times he could have killed someone but didn't because they didn't deserve to die. Then he asks why Molly should live and pulls out a gun. Sam saves Molly right away, and the two of them run to the kitchen. Peter catches up with them later and knocks Sam out because killing him won't help him. Then he turns on a few stoves to blow the place up. Agent Block will soon show up, and Peter will kill him. We all know, though, that Peter can't let Molly live now that he's seen him kill Block, so he still tries to kill her. Later, Sam wakes up and saves Molly, which makes the gun fall on a stove. Sam gets hurt when Peter beats him up, but Molly comes back to save him. When Peter wants to stab him, he gets the upper hand on Molly and tries to stab her, but Sam stops him. At the same time, the pistol on the stove is so hot that it shoots at Sam. Sam thinks he is finally safe because they didn't kill him. Two weeks later, Sam and Molly are on a plane to Paris when two students warn everyone to get off the plane because they had a vision. When Sam hears this after the plane has already taken off, he knows what's going on, but it's too late. The engines catch on fire, and Molly is sucked out of the plane and killed. Sam is still in the plane when it explodes. A co-worker tells Nathan at Roy's funeral that Roy's autopsy shows he would have died of a brain disease in the end. This means that trading Roy's life would have been a bad idea. At that moment, the plane's landing gear crashes through the roof and crushes him. We really appreciate you watching. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel with the notification bell because it is really important for us. Thank you.